All right, welcome back to the journey of Coach Bolly Ben. Houston is on a two-game win streak, trying to get to 500 for the first time in Coach Bolly Ben's tenure. And looking to make a, a trade offer here from the Cardinals. We pick him up for a third-round pick. All right, it doesn't look like he's too happy, but most this team is not. But two two teams that are two and three, looking to both either team looking to get to five hundred. Houston's on a two game win streak, like I mentioned before. This is something that this team has not been in. They don't understand this concept. But five hundred, man, that that's a far cry from going two and fifteen last year. So we we got an opportunity here. Let's let's go ahead and make the best of it. Not make any mistakes. Nearly gets sacked there, but eludes the defender. That's what happens with speed, man. Speed allows you to, to make some opportunities and make defenders miss. And then a gain of eight again. Houston, this is game. This, this game six, and they've scored on their first drive. I think in uh, four of the five games, they had a fumble against Tampa. They won that game somehow, mostly in the backs of their defense. And a nice little shot to the running back Cochran. First down to the 40-yard line. This this team is confident coming out. They had a better option. That tight end was much more open there. But going for the – and the tight end gets gets it there, dives in for gain of 12. All right. Looking to build, looking to build. Nobody's open and nearly intercepted. Got to know who you're throwing to. Sweep out. It's going to be a long third down and seven. And where to go with it? Nowhere. Man, the defenders swarmed in on that ball. That safety had it. Going for that field goal. And it's going to be wide right. Ah, not a good start. Taking, trying to get the points. This team is usually a fourth. They usually go for it on fourth down. But Chicago went right down. Drove right on them. Okay. It's no worries. All right? You got to get, we have time to score a touchdown here. Go get the touchdown. And, oh, most nice gain there, Pert. Shaquille Pert with a long gain. Go get the touchdown here. We have a chance. Tight end. Oh, is that maybe? Never mind. That's the wide receiver. Okay, complete there. Third down and three. Got to make it happen. You got to use the clock well. You can't, can't just give up time. Right now we're first down and ten. Ah, Maven gets the ball back again. Great comeback to the ball. Way to read it. Understanding the quarterback's arm just isn't there quite yet. And Cochran dives in. Into the red zone we go. Houston has an opportunity to score. Quarterback takes off. J.C. Crum slides in for a gain of four. 35 seconds left to go. We got to score here. It's got to happen. Handing the ball off on second and six. I don't know if that was... A good use of their time, but maybe they're trying to eat some clock. Maybe make some player miss. All right, to the three-yard line. 20 seconds left to go. Going for it. Of course, still got time left. Touchdown, Maven. Just like that. Making it happen. Going for two. Shelvin got the two-point conversion. Houston has an 8-7 to seven advantage. Looking to get three straight victories. Not going to happen like that. Chicago runs right down their throats. No way, no how. But again, Houston, go out there, get a touchdown, try to make something happen here in the third quarter. Give themselves some time. Understanding their defense is still a work in progress. Nice run by the tight end. Gain of 15. Minute to go in the third quarter. No one's open. No one's open. Sacked. You can't take that. Can't take a sack. That's not a good idea. Back to what the heck is going on? Back to back sacks. Third down and 22. And Cochran gets a little bit back, but fourth and 12. And this team is going for it. Not. And he took a risk and it didn't pay off. Short field, Chicago scores 22 to 8. This is not looking good at all. The fun of a two-game win streak is looking like it's coming to an end. Unless a miracle happens, they need a quick touchdown. They need a, definitely a quick touchdown. And an improbable stop by their defense. So it's 
more than likely this game is pretty much over. Pert getting across the 50. Again, they can't they have no breakaway speed. No breakaway speed yet. So it, it makes it real difficult to try to do anything magical when your speedsters can't even run past the defense at all. And got to get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. All right. Stopping the clock. Moving. Chance to move the chains. There we go. Make someone miss. Gets out of bounds again. Solid movement of the ball. Getting the offense confident. Touchdown, Shelvin. All right. Going for two. Got it. All right. They are down by six. So, again, got to go for the onside kick. Can't get that. They scored another touchdown. 24 to 16. And that's pretty much it. Down by 14 points, 48 seconds to go. No big strikes in this game. No 90 yard bombs, even though they don't need 90 at the moment. Just, you know, it, it's tough, man. They, you, got, you, can't, you can't have bad, you can't miss field goals. You can't, you can't turn the ball over. The defense has to stop somebody. And there it is. Speaking of turning the ball over, not that it would work anyways, but they go out there and get a field goal. Ten seconds left to go, make it even worse. This is the worst game of the season so far, and it comes at the tail end of a two-game win streak. Humble pie. Well, there it is, one second to go in this game. And that catch for negative yards. Nothing going on, nothing happening. Well, oh, Houston drops to two and four, and Indianapolis has taken control of this division at five and one. So it's going to be a tough, tough climb. Definitely a tough climb. And uh, got to go back to the drawing board. Got to see what we can do. We got a bye week here, so we got a lot of time to think, recover from our injuries, and we're going to play a division opponent going into Week Eight against Tennessee. All right, see you guys in, in Tennessee, week eight.